I should tell you, Ambassador. Welcome back. The Chantry raised some fuss when Welcome they back. about our arrangement. The Inquisition must certainly see an audacious Okay, we need to turn shit in. Right? We yes. have to convince them it is a necessary We got 406 system. experience from that. Bowstrings strings removed. Keep going. Please tell me if you find something. Read. Children of Andraste. You guys pause if you want to read that. I'll just fast forward through this first part here. And then we'll fast forward through some others. Damage bonus against humanoids. Damage bonus against demons. Damage bonus against humanoids. Awesome. Ram horns removed, dark spawn teeth removed. Jesus Christ. My God. The words. It's a lot of words. That's too many words for me. You guys can just pause in between all the moving around. Thanks for watching. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's up there. Hello. Can I help you with something? Uh, yep, nope, you're right. We need to talk to Though who? you had granted them power over the very fade itself. Though they had hymns of praise nope. unending. Though they Magic could do existed. anything to serve man. Oh, and here she is. Vivienne! Hello, my dear. If Fiona and her malcontents are joining us as allies, we need to be prepared. Abominations are inevitable. Cullen doesn't have enough Templars to handle incidents. Some of the rank and file need to be trained. We can control the mages. We can handle the mages. There's no need for Templars. Have any of these men faced an abomination before, my dear? Have you? What are you doing this pissing the veil is broken, and the raw power of the Fade rushes out like floodwaters through a shattered levee. In ordinary places where the veil is weak, magic is much more likely to attract demons. And if demons can walk our world with no blood magic to summon them, how safe do you think our allies are? There has never been a greater threat to mages than the breach. Until it is closed, no one is safe. You don't trust mages? Do you pose a risk? Do you have a low opinion of your fellow mages? It's not so much an opinion as grasping the obvious. Magic is dangerous, just as fire is dangerous. Anyone who forgets this truth gets burned. Uh... Templars aren't the solution. You're right, but Templars are a poor solution. They are men, and all men are flawed. That some fail does not mean that none should try. The fact remains that there is no cure for an abomination except death. Someone must strike the killing blow. Who shall lower the blade if not a Templar? Tell me something. As you will no doubt have a hand in shaping it, what future do you Be careful see with for this mages? One. Mages should be treated like anybody else. And yet, however much we I may wish it, we are not like everyone else. Anyone can see that a chevalier is armed and dangerous, and they can see when his blade is about to strike. But can you spot a mage coming? And if he arrives at your stoop, can he leave his magic at the door? It's something to consider, my dear. Yes, well, fuck off. <laughs> I don't care. Alright, so we're gonna go up here and talk to Solus. Oh, he's tickled pink. Solus loves us. Dorian! The Inquisition supports free mages. What's next? Elves running Hallam Shiral? Cows milking <laughs> farmers? Uh. I'll think of something. <laughs> you disagree? You don't agree. On the contrary, I approve. Heartily. I do wonder if you've considered what this support of yours will do. For mages in general, I mean. The Inquisition is seen as an authority. You've given southern mages license to, well, be like mages back home. Uh, is that so terrible? What would be wrong with that exactly? Nothing, at first. Thing is, the Imperium was once just like the South. 
Templars, proper circles, all that rot. Then it changed by inches. Not that this is reason to oppress us. Still, my homeland should be a cautionary tale. He does have a point. Not a source of inspiration. Yes, I agree. Uh, man. Yeah. Solus, tell me how much you love me, man. So we have gained the mages. Excellent. They should be able to seal the breach. You are certain you experienced time travel. Could it have been the an fact illusion? that he agrees so hard that he makes fate. me worry? What would be the point? Do you think Alexius made an illusion of his own life going down in flames? Point taken. What an amazing gift. It is vital the Inquisition succeed to avoid the future you witness. Not amazing. Terrifying. Yeah. So many were dead. More had been corrupted. Knowing what will happen if we fail, I suggest we not fail. Speaking of which, you should ready yourself for this elder one. You have now interfered with his plans twice. Once at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, and now again at Redcliffe. A being who aspires to godhood is unlikely to ignore such an affront. He has a point. A very solid point, I would like to point out. There's a lot of points. Magic exists to serve man and never hey, Sarah. Well, I don't think she likes you very much either. So many robes, I bet all of Ferelden lost their curtains. I'll just be the other side of Haven, just in case. <laughs> there it helps. These mages are here to aid the Inquisition. Don't worry. Sure, don't worry. Magic up there, magic down here. What's to worry about? I mean, yay, freedom. Great for them. <laughs> Over there, away from me. <laughs> I like her too. Oh, God. Carry on. I don't think there's much more to, uh, to say. Any opinions about our allies? Thoughts on the Inquisition? Is the Inquisition what you thought it would be? Well, you're dragging people together, suppose that's something. You're gonna need more trebuchets if you're going after the sky. Or, you know, ladders. Carry on, I'm telling you. What do you think about the people who have gathered? Which, the ones who do things, the ones who give orders? <laughs> uh... My advisors. What do you think about our spy master, ambassador and commander? Liliana is pretty in places. I swear I've seen her too. Or heard she used to play. But that'd be mad. Now Josephine, she's as good at humbling her kind as I am. Just with less mess. Knows her business if you happen to have it. And colour. I suppose if you want a jackboot, you get a big one so you can grow into it. <laughs> <That's> it. <laughs> nice! What about Cassandra? What's about Cassandra? Not as buttoned up as she plays, right? Tough though. I'd stand behind her in front of anything. Okay. Solus. Let's go back first. Varric. Varric? Varric? Too clever. Always saying something, but never saying it straight. That's actually right on yep. point. What about Solus? Solus? <laughs> His head's crammed up a thousand years ago. All right, that's good for now. We'll talk later. Good, right? I'll be here. Fair enough. Wait, we can talk to somebody up there now? You've always been able to. Oh, that's the Leon. The rebellion joins the Inquisition. I've got to admit, that's a twist I didn't see coming. One thing you saw in the future worries me. I mean, it was all bad. But Red Lyrium and Ferelden, infecting people and growing out of them, that's bad. Finding more of it really punches a hole in my Red Lyrium at the temple was a coincidence <laughs> theory. <laughs> How fast does it spread? How long does it take for Red Lyrium to grow? How fast can it spread? It took years to infect people in Kirkwall, but no one there was actually ingesting the stuff. This Elder One managed to take the worst thing I can think of and make it worse. That's an accomplishment. Uh... Don't worry. Don't worry. The Inquisition has the numbers to track down all this Lyrium and destroy it. I hope so. I don't want to think about what happens if it starts a plague. I've got people trying to find out where the red stuff came from. 
I think maybe we should make that a priority. But that's enough doom and gloom. You just won a big victory for the Inquisition. What are you going to do to celebrate? Go oh, God. I was about to say, where's my... I'm going to Disneyland. Plan for what's next. Yep. We can't know what's coming. Best not to get too comfortable. I can't disagree with that. But maybe you should try to relax while you can. Things should be calm around here for at least the next hour. Take a moment to enjoy it. If the world's about to end, I'm sure the Seeker will let us know. He has a point. Alright, so let's go talk to Liliana. I think we only have a couple left to that's speak to. That's right? actually it, you know, it other than Bull. Uh, no, Colin. And Colin. Your open support for the mages likely earned you enemies. Our agents will monitor the situation. If the most opposed can be identified, we may still turn this to our advantage. No killing. You're not planning assassinations, are you? I was planning to unleash Josephine on them. That's even worse. Regardless, I applaud you for the courage to stand up for the mages. I watched you die for me. In Redcliffe, you sacrificed yourself so that I could return here. Of course I did. One small life in exchange for a second chance at history. I always loved a bargain. Uh, it was still noble. Yeah. It was still a sacrifice, and still noble. And I would do it again. Uh, any updates? Anything I should know? Artigan has returned to Redcliffe Castle and resumed his duties as Lord. The people are returning, slowly but surely. Unfortunately, our show of support for the mages has angered many. Uh, tell me about yourself. Let's talk about you. Me? Got any stories? Oh, wow. let's tell tales. I bet you tell some good ones. There are plenty of tales in the library. Perhaps you should look for them there. Uh, tell me about your past. What did you do before you worked for the Divine? I trained to be a spy from a young age. Learned from the best. For a while, I was wildly happy. I loved the thrill of that life, the danger. But nothing lasts forever. Nothing lasts forever. I went into hiding, and when I emerged, the Divine called on me. She presented me with my own network of spies, and said I was the only one she could trust. You are well connected. You seem to know a great many people. I have made friends, and on occasion enemies. It's unavoidable. Okay. You met the hero of Ferelden. You have a history with the warden who ended the blight, don't you? I had the privilege of calling her friend before she died. The world seemed much dull after that. It still does. How do you know Josephine, dammit? You seem to know Josephine quite well. I met her a long time ago, but we didn't become good friends until years later. After the blight, in fact. I'd just returned to Val Rayu, and she welcomed me back by throwing a diplomatic ball. What? She was the Antivan ambassador at the time, you see. The ball was... All right. Too many good additions. At midnight, Josie and I left to find a real party. Okay. We've been friends ever since. A real party? <laughs> what do you consider a real party? It's not a real party until someone's small clothes are pinned to a chantry board. And that's all I'm saying about it. Okay! We'll talk later, I have to go. Yeah. You know where I am. Yep, you concern the shit out of me. Not to mention your past self concerns the shit out of me too. You were a bitch. I think we can also make new uh, weapons, can't we? I don't think that you have anything better than what you have. We got that wave sword. True. The mages are ready to approach the breach. I pray this will be enough to close it. Uh, give the mages a chance. Disappointed with our allies? Would you be more confident if I'd brought back Templars instead? I'd be less worried about the thin veil resulting in mass possession. I will not endanger the alliance you created. We need their help. Any precautions taken will be to ensure the safety He of does our have a point. And the I mean, they really do. Yeah. I, I don't disagree. Uh, uh, 
No. Are you, uh... Hey, how you doing? <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, we don't want that. Hello. And what are we supposed to do, exactly? What you always do, complain. We've already spoken with Commander Cullen. No one listens. We want better quarters. We want the Templars kept at a distance. And some respect for... This is not the circle. You mages are our allies, not our wards. Act like it. How are we supposed to... Deal with it. <laughs> Don't make me punch you, mage. It never ends, evidently. Is there a problem? Is there an issue with the mages? Can I help? The mages are here as equals. They need to get used to what that means. It is your doing, after all. Yeah, you mages are dicks. This alliance. I did my best. I had to think on my feet, and I did what I could. Oh, I do sound like I'm blaming you, don't I? <laughs> I don't disapprove. In fact, you did well. You made a decision when it needed to be made. And here we are. I wish I could say this was my doing. Flatterer. Flatterer. You're flattering me. I'm not. This always happens. Nobody ever takes my meaning. <laughs> you should see your face. I'm thinking less flattering things now. <laughs> <sighs> Let's hope the breach has your sense of humor. It does. I made it. I mean, I, I didn't make it. I gotta go. And last but not least, Iron Penis. So, that Tevinter guy sent you into the future? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry, no. I'll protect you. No, we don't <laughs> want that shit. Weird, right? <laughs> it's a little awkward. Every time I think I understand magic, the rules change. <laughs> I know, right? If I were a mage, I'd just throw fire at people. That's honest. He has a point. I hope our new friends have what it takes to close the breach. Damn thing gives me a headache just looking at it. I like Bull. He's short, sweet, to the point. He's just like, yeah, but fuck that. Oh, I told you. Yeah, we need that. I told your ass. Okay, Drake, Drake Stone. We have the most iron. I mean, honestly, this yeah. part doesn't matter, right? Right. Iron. Iron again, probably. Yeah, iron again. Okay, iron. Okay, blue girdle. Go to Onyx, see what it does. Yeah, Onyx gives you the same. So does iron. <laughs> I'd use Onyx. And then we need a what? <clears throat> you need to keep go, uh, go to one handed? He'll take one hand. Uh, that looks better, actually. Yeah? No? Yeah, this? That, yeah, that looks better. Or this? I think that one. This one? Army? Yeah. Okay. Plus three percent armor penetration. Done. Critical chance, critical damage. I like that one better. The chance or the bonus? The bonus. OK. 
Okay, we got that. You well. Uh, weapons. There you go. It's strong, broadsword. Grip. What are you doing? You had it. It's confirmed. There you go. No, you can you can keep that one and you can give that one, or you can give Cassandra that wave one. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so inventory, and we've talked to everybody, right? Yes. That looks good. Yeah, it fits with her motif. Yeah. Equip it, so you... Oh, did you equip it already? I thought it did. No. Yeah, it did. Okay. Well, let's go. Back to the war room. Alright. On to the war room we go. We've talked to everybody. There's another quest chilling out over there, but... I think we do some damage now. Like, legitimate yeah. damage. A ridiculous amount of legitimate damage. I agree. We probably should have progressed the story before we tried to kill those rifts. Took so many deaths on those being just dumb. I tried telling you. I tried telling you. Hell no, I kept telling you. Go to the story. We have side quests. Look, those help too. Hold not, on. As, not as much as the story has. Advancing the story has gotten us tons of shit. Schematics, all kinds of stuff. Where, where, where? Now you're looking for in your heart. Sh oh, you got. Go to secrets, I think is where it's at. Yeah, deft hands. God damn it, we can't get it. So, what do we need first? Four points needed in category. We do a lot of that, though. We do a lot of this, too. Actually, advanced focus is probably the best. Look at it. Wait, what? Warrior schematics. There you go. Yes. Cower the troops arms. Do you want me to do it? Yes. We want schematics, so... Go to Ferrothland. There it is. This one's done, right? Yes. Engraved pommel. Nice. Are these done? Oh, one of them is. Influence. That's good. Send her. All right. Yeah. Is this one? Why the hell not? Go to that one right there. This one? Yes. In your heart, you shall burn. Alright. This is where we go next. So thank you guys for watching as always. Remember to leave a like and a comment down below. And we will see you on the next time. When my heart shall burn. Peace.